There are several paths in the engine to route the various air flows. The primary air paths are annular, or ring-like in nature. The bypass section directs the cool air accelerated by the outer portion of the front fan. The bypass duct surrounds the outer portion of the engine's casing. This cool air flow produces the majority of the engine's thrust at lower altitudes where the air is dense, therefore heavy. The inner core air is fed from the fan through the inner duct, and then flows into the high-pressure compressor assembly. This assembly consists of two stages of axial compression and a single-stage centrifugal compressor. A bleed-off valve is located between the fan and the centrifugal compressor. The bleed-off valve is fully open below about 70% N2, begins closing above 70% N2, and is fully closed at about 90% N2. This valve unloads the high-pressure compressors, allowing surge-free operation of the engine at all power settings and altitudes. Ingested air is next compressed further by the centrifugal compressor before entering the combustion chamber. A small amount of this compressed bleed air, known as P3 bleed air, is used for several non-engine related functions, such as cabin pressurization and anti-icing. The compressed air passes through a diffuser assembly, and then to the combustion section. These diffuser tubes convert centrifugal flow to axial flow, taking the rotation or spin out of the air spun off by the impeller. After the fuel-air mixture is burned, the hot high-energy air passes through the high-pressure turbine into the low-pressure turbines. A set of guide vanes provide the proper airflow to ensure the most efficient energy transfer to both the high-pressure turbine and the low-pressure turbines. The majority of the energy generated is transmitted to the front fan by way of the N1 shaft. After the low-pressure turbines, the remaining airflow is directed out the rear exhaust section providing additional thrust. The exhaust section is fluted and acts as a muffler. You may have noticed this technology used on hush kits installed on straight pipe jets such as early hawkers and gulf streams. As the airplane climbs, the air becomes thinner. As a result, the fan becomes less effective, since the air being accelerated by the fan is very light in weight. Therefore, the core of the engine provides the majority of the thrust up high where the air is very thin.